All right, Cinnabon, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, happy Friday to you. Oh, look what I've got today. <gasps> it's Yoo-Hoo, it's a chocolate drink. Yeah, this is probably dangerous for you. Mm-hmm. But I think I'm gonna review this today. Yeah, this is uh, from Dollar Tree, but you can get it a lot of different places. It comes in glass containers and cardboard containers and all kinds of stuff, doesn't it? Yeah, you like cardboard boxes, don't you? Mm -hmm. I didn't really know what this was when I was younger. My buddy had a little mini miniature version on his fridge as a magnet and I'm like, what is you? He's like, you never heard of it? And I think they had some on hand. So we had some good stuff. It's basically chocolate milk that doesn't have to be refrigerated. When you get it at the store, it's just on the shelf. So a little unsettling, right? Milk that doesn't go bad outside of a fridge. It's rich in calcium and vitamin D, so it is healthy for you. Yoo-Hoo chocolate drink, six and a half ounces. Wow, 99% fat and caffeine free, so that's good. So there's a little bit of that in there. Here's the nutritional information. Comes with its own straw, which is cool. This side is the same as the other side. Oh, and here's the ingredients here. We have water, corn syrup, own, and some milk, okay. Less than 2% coca, and a bunch of other stuff that I don't really care to read. It has milk and soy in it, so make sure you're not lactose intolerant. That's why Cinnabon can't have any of this, and the chocolate, <laughs> a little bit of chocolate in there, so. This one doesn't expire until July 24th, 2020. Wow. Ooh. Jump on the, there we go. What do you think, buddy? Think this will be good? Think this will be tasty? Yeah? Would you like to try some? Okay, I guess not. So I'm not going to be able to do this one-handed. Oh, I lie. I will be able to. Using my teeth as a cheater. Oh, I forgot to shake it. Ooh, that's too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and empty this one. Okay, Cinnamon is interested. He probably smells whatever little milk is in here. What do you th what do you say, buddy? Why don't we just turn that straw your way, huh? You want some? You want to try some? We'll have to feed some to you off camera. Just kidding. I know, I know you're gonna freak out about that. No, we won't do that. Okay. Why don't we pop this other one open and empty it in the cup? Why don't we shake it first? Why don't we shake this up, little buddy? Hmm? That's enough. That's good enough. How long is this going to take? Let's see. Oh, oh look at that. I made a mess. <laughs> oh. He's looking at me like, what's going on? If this ever happens to you, call the doctor immediately. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. No, no, don't go for it. <laughs> okay, no, this is not great. I'm gonna have to heavily edit this one. There we go. Mm. <laughs> okay. Why don't we clean this up a little bit? Let's clean the scene. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Don't try it. Don't worry, I won't let him try it. This would be dangerous, buddy. Maybe I won't edit this. Maybe I'll keep this like how it's supposed to be. All right, now let's go for the long shot. What do you say, buddy? Okay. Here we go. It's time to taste test this. So, cheers. That is good. So, chocolate milk with sort of a chemical taste. Just kidding. It's obviously has chemicals in it. Which reminds me, it's story time. So a buddy of mine, this is probably, goodness, this has to be perhaps five years ago, maybe three to five years ago. I was at the range with some friends of mine. And my job at this particular day was to have beverages. So I would bring soda, water, you know, chocolate drink and the cooler, you know, just fill the cooler full of drinks and we'll bring it to the event. 
and uh, some people would bring meat, bread, and we'd have like a you know kind of a picnic while we were shooting or after we were shooting, taking a break. Bring like a small portable grill. It was a good time. So I would, I would typically bring drinks. I would even offer it to strangers. There'd be people there. It'd be like a super hot day. You know, we're out there for hours, and there's people that brought zero water, and I'm like. Hey guys, you guys want some waters? Oh yeah, thanks so much, man. It's like, yeah, come on, I gotta have some. A little basic preparedness. If you're gonna be somewhere for several hours in the hot summer, you should probably, especially outside, probably bring some drinks. You know, if not soda, some water. Everyone has to have water. So anyway, I had a bunch of this stuff and I offered one to my buddy. I'm like, hey Mike, you wanna try some of this stuff? You know, you do? He's like, no, 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 no. Do you realize how many chemicals that thing has? He's a good guy, he just uh, didn't want some you And fair enough, I'm sure this is loaded with chemicals, right? Any. Any milk that's not dry that re requires zero refrigeration, that's a red flag if I've ever seen one, but whatever. It's not like I drink it every day. I drink it probably every other day. I'm just kidding. But anyway, so probably within the next hour or two, the same guy, Mike, who didn't want this because of the chemicals, offered me chew tobacco. And I said, no, thank you. There's too many chemicals in it. So that's a story, story time, exciting story time. What do you say, buddy? Is that exciting? Hmm? This is good. A lot of you older folks might remember this. Wow, it tastes pretty much, pretty much the same out of the cardboard than it does the glass, which makes sense, right? Double fisting, can imagine me at a party like this? Not bad, not bad at all. Hey little buddy, how you doing? How's little Cinnabon doing? We're taking a quick commercial break from the Yoohoo review. Yeah. So we have a little bit left in the glass. You can kind of see, especially when I move it, how chocolatey it is. Yeah. There's all the chocolate remnants. See, there's actual chocolate in there, I think. So at Dollar Tree, you can buy a pack of three of these. Three pack for a dollar. Surprise. Pretty good, huh? What do you say, buddy? What do you say? He's like, I can't wait for this video to stop so you can give me some of that without people realizing it. I'm just teasing. Okay, part two of this review is gonna be an apple, a Fuji apple. Ooh, it has a, ooh, a dark spot, that's okay. We'll just shoot it this way, right? What do you think, buddy? Do you want an apple too? Hmm? Want an apple? I'm sure an apple's probably not great for a cat either. So see, I always, I don't always review unhealthy items. Let's go ahead and take a bite and see what this apple tastes like. Now oh, that's a good apple. So out of that bag of apples I bought, two of them so far have been totally flavorless. It's really weird, but the other ones that were not tasted amazing. So I don't understand it. There's no consistency, but this is a good apple. I heard that there's so many apples on the planet. If you had one different type of apple every day, you would never be able to have all the different variations of apples. Now that could be BS, but that's what I heard. I thought it was pretty interesting. Now I love apples. I like apple juice, apple cider, apple pie, apple computer. <laughs> Did you know that apples have trace amounts of cyanide in the seeds? Yeah, that means don't eat a lot of apple seeds because that's dangerous. Buddy, all done. We just have an apple core now. Yeah, isn't that cool? So, what, just check it out? Hmm. Yeah, he knows it's not good for him because I don't think cats like fruit. Anyway, a nice, a nice thing about living in the country is that, especially for, if you have a deck right next to the woods, you can take your apple core and similar banana peels and what have you, just whip it in the woods. Oh, I always hit that tree. It's like something weird. Some animal will take it, probably the possum or raccoon or whatever. So one of these days, I'm sure I'll probably have an apple tree back here and a pizza tree and a potato tree, a marshmallow tree, whatever I throw back there. I expect a tree. What do you think, buddy? Think we'll have some cool exotic trees back there? Hmm? Yeah, what do you think? You wanna go out there? What do you wanna say? Wanna hang out on the deck for a while? Look at you, such a good kitty. My hands are sticky from the apple, but I'll still pet you. I'm sure you won't mind, will you? No. No. 
Do you want to show off your jumping skills? Uh oh. What's that? Look at those clouds, my goodness. There's a jet up there somewhere. You don't see it, it's probably above the clouds. It's beautiful clouds. You are such a good kitty. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. You are a good kitty. You are such a nice cat, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just gonna chill in the breeze. What you thinking about, buddy? What you thinking about? Hmm? Yeah. Something is piquing his interest. I don't know what it is yet. Somebody's pounding on something. Mm -hmm. He's gonna go into stealth hunger down mode. Yep. He's in cat scan. <laughs> You're in cat scan mode, aren't you? Looking for anything and anything. That's good. I'm glad somebody's doing that. We had some pretty good weather last night. I don't see... We'll do a woods walk one of these days. Soon. I know people like that, so I'll try to do more woods videos, but... I don't see any down trees, at least from this angle and perspective. I'm sure there's probably some back there, especially dead ones. I do see a dead pine. You can't really see it, but it's in there. We'll take care of that, won't we? We'll go ahead and let Cinnamon chill outside. Thank you all for watching and hope you have a terrific weekend. Bye-bye.